boy. Oh boy. Looks like it's gonna be a fun day today. yet so we're styling today still you know what time it is it's time to break out the old winter jacket ah, not the vacuum cleaner Where did that go? oh boy oh dear that was not as smooth as I intended it to be okay there we go Gotta break this thing out of hibernation today. I've got my lined jeans on as well. We're gonna be toasty warm. Very exciting. It's that time of year. Yep. What it means to be a true Canuck. We can handle it. But that doesn't mean we have to like it. You ready for this, man? You ready? We're in, uh, we're near Haddishville, Manitoba. We're still on the Ontario, I mean, on the, on the Manitoba side, we gotta make a drop in Kenora. I stopped here last night because of the snowstorm and we slept a little later than uh, we wanted to because I woke up and it was still storming like crazy. So, uh, waited a little bit longer for the snow to slow down, and uh, give the plows a chance to get out on the road. And now we're gonna hammer down. We're gonna go drop this one piece off in Kenora that we have, and then we gotta go all the way out to uh, Alsby, Alsby, down by Toronto, like a two day drive. And in this weather, well, we'll see how long it'll take. Hopefully the roads will be clear. I don't mind if there's snow around us. I just don't like it when it's on the road. So as long as it's not on the road, we're good. So hopefully we gave the plows enough time to get out there and plow and salt. Here we go. That's one step for mankind. One step into winter. Winter has arrived. Here it is. Sing for joy. La la la. The only good thing about this is, should I say it? Christmas is coming. Shh, I can't say that yet though. People get mad if I say it too soon. Between you and me, Christmas is coming. Come on, you old man. Come on, buddy. Oh yes, check it out. He loves snow. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get him back in the truck. I know it. So I walked over here to, what is this, Ranger Station? Grab myself a coffee. I hope it's a good coffee. It's hit and miss with gas station coffee. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's coffee flavored water. I don't know, we'll see. It's gonna be a good day for new tires. Good thing we got those. Let's go make sure all the lights are working. Marker light is working. Nice. Signal light is working. Tires are inflated with air. Brake lights are working and are not covered with snow. that brake light and there you go we're all ready to rock and roll here look at us go ah. okay it's off for now I'm just gonna place that neatly right there okay you watch my jacket you watch it you're in charge man big responsibilities but I trust you just got a hold of the receiver there Told them we're 108 kilometers away. 
however long it takes to get there. On a normal day, that would probably take about an hour and a quarter, hour and a half from here into Ontario. We'll see what it, what it is today. The roads should be all good by now. Let's go check it out. So I got new tires on this truck and on the pickup and got the winter tires on Brit's terrain just in time, apparently. I saw some other trucks struggling to get out of the parking lot here. It looked like they were gonna get stuck. Not me, didn't even spin. Let's get out here onto the big bad highway. We got a long way to go. We want to get there as quickly as possible. Turn left. I don't want to get stuck in Southern Ontario over the weekend if I don't have to. I want to get everything delivered before the end of day Friday. to unload on the street because their yard was too full of snow but it's okay it was a very slow moving street and it wasn't very busy at all so we got it unloaded it was on the second level so I had to we have a whole system that I have to do to get down off the second level down onto the ground because they don't have a dock here but we got all the tools we need for it it just takes a little bit longer than average I guess it's done now now we have 1876 kilometers to go to our next delivery I'm, I'm i'm thinking of you americans there don't don't worry i got the calculator right here calm down 1876 divided by 1.61 1165 miles to our next delivery so it's going to be the rest of today all day tomorrow so this will be there end of the week
But we should get them all delivered this week yet, which is good. We're still on schedule. And we'll probably have a preloaded trailer waiting for us in southern Ontario, I'm guessing, taking us who knows where. Uh, they said that they might be sending me east from Ontario. Now, to me, that's already east, so you're sending me easter. Quebec? Maybe the Maritimes? Newfoundland? I don't know. We'll see what happens. In 100 meters, turn left on River Drive and then slight right in 110 meters. They had me delivering down in this little, uh, this is what I mean. It was a quiet street where trucks are not usually uh, present. But here we are living the dream. Local delivery only, that's me. Never actually uh, been in Kenora, in the city itself. It's actually a much bigger city than I thought. Like you saw the downtown there, it's actually a pretty decent sized city. They say the population is 15,500 people. That's pretty interesting. Look at this house on, on the left here, that's weird. Not this like newer brown one, but this this uh, white and light gray one. Look at that. In 100 meters, turn left on Trans Canada Highway, Highway 17. Interesting. Well, the roads aren't that great. Is that a house? Oh my! Well, there's people living in there. Okay. All right. Oh, I can't turn left here. Wait, what? I gotta turn right. Oh, I definitely went down the wrong road, I guess. Oh. Karen! Oh, man. I should have gone straight there, I guess, at that last intersection. Okay, well, we'll go find a place to turn around and be on our way. As soon as I can get in here. This is the thing about delivering to these neighborhoods where trucks aren't really supposed to be. Sometimes it's hard to get out of them. We got ourselves turned around, and I see a Timmy's coming up here on the left, but I don't see any truck parking anywhere. Can't park anywhere here. Oh, that's sad. Guess I could have parked up in there, but I don't know if they want heavy trucks in there. I don't want to get in trouble. See, it should have come out that road. That would have made more sense. Ha! Huh? Well, we'll know for next time. All right, well, no Timmy's right now for us. The next Timmy's I know of is in Nipigon at the Petro Pass there. I guess it'll just have to wait. That's like, what, five hours ahead of us yet? Yikes. I've finally done it. I've finally done it, Diesel. We did it. We stocked up our food in our truck. Finally, no more eating out. I've been doing that for way too long already. It's way too expensive. So I filled my truck up with food for like, what, 90 bucks? And I'm good for at least two weeks. Might just have to pick up an extra loaf of bread throughout the week or so, but much cheaper than paying, you know, 15 bucks a meal or more every day. That adds up quickly. You can live off of what you pay when you eat out. In one day, you can live for at least a week at least. We're in Dryden, Ontario. We've got a long way to go. Look at this guy parked on the sidewalk. Right beside the no stopping sign. Because he wanted to go and get Timmy's. <laughs> See, I didn't get Timmy's here because I didn't want to be that guy. So we'll get Timmy's in Nipigon. Some people, I tell you, I don't know what they put in that coffee, but people go crazy for it up here. Including myself. Just I watch where I park at least.
Petro Pass Nipigon. We've also got the Timmy's here, but it looks like the Timmy's is closed. What? Better not be. All right, it's usually a gong show at this time. Let's see. I guess I could park right here. Look at this, front and center. I got what I think is the last parking spot. <laughs> Very nice, man. Thank you. Thank you. Let's uh, put you in there. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna quickly run in, grab a Tim's. We got another 500 kilometers to Kappa's Casing. I think we're probably just gonna make it to Hearst, Ontario and spend the night there. But uh, I've already used up all of my break time today, so I'm taking time out of my drive time by stopping here, so I better hurry up. While I'm here, may as well top everything up right away. I don't like running my fuel tanks very low in the cold weather. You never know. You always want to be prepared. Please enter pump number four. Please use pump selector. All right, that's it. Made myself another custom sandwich. Sounds cooler if I say it's custom. It's custom because it's made just for me. And we have a long way to go and we have four and a half hours available to us to get there. Gonna be a little close. We're here in Hearst, Ontario, hoping to find a parking spot, but judging by all the trucks in the entrance here already, probably not gonna happen here. We tried here at the, at the Husky or the Esso or whatever this place is now. Might have to go down the road, see if we can find something there. Anything to say, Diesel? I got nothing to say either. I'm tired. I'm not doing nothing else. Nothing. I'm just putting all these files on the computer and calling it a night. We drove 1,100 kilometers today. And this is, we used up all of our hours, our full 16 hour day. So I've been working for 16 hours. I hope you enjoyed your eight hour day. Went home and felt like you got a full day's work in. <laughs> well i'll be up tomorrow to do it all over again so i hope you join me don't forget to subscribe and tune in tomorrow <laughs>